I want to take a quick look at importing a Google Earth image into Surface and making that image a color image instead of a black and white image that comes in on default. So I'm going to go to my Google Earth, you know, zoom into a spot that I that I want to gather that information for, and right about there. Okay, now I'm going to switch back over to my Civil 3D. I'm going to go to the Insert tab, Google Earth, Google Earth Image and Surface. It asked me to put an insertion point. It's going to hit Enter. Don't really care about an angle. So it's going to import that information. It's imported my image as black and white. It's imported my surface. So you got my surface there. You can see the contours. But I want that image in color. I don't want it black and white. So I'm going to go back to my Google Earth. And I'm not moving my image. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to go up to File, Save, and Save Image. I'm going to save this image. I'm just going to place it on my desktop. And let's just call it Logan Area. Okay, so I've saved that image. I can get out of my Google Earth now, back into my Civil 3D. And I'm going to go to my XREFs, because when you insert that image, it automatically play, creates an XREF um, to that image. Right now, I'm going to replace it from black and white. I'm going to replace it to that color image that I created. So I'm going to select my XREF, being that image, come to the Found App Path, and go to the desktop where I saved that image to. And just double click on that. And if I regen my screen, it's now going to be a color image. Great tool, great way to get some conceptual topo, a, a nice color image. You know, it's not a bad quality color image at all. Um, next thing we're going to look at is doing a quick slope analysis and uh, overlaying that and using the transparency layer tools uh, that Civil 3D has to offer. Um, and so quickly and easily creating a uh, slope exhibit. So I'm going to save this first. So I've got my topo, I've got my image, I want to do a slope analysis. So I'm going to pick my surface. I can just right click and go to surface properties, run a quick slope analysis. I'm going to my analysis tab, go to slopes. We're going to leave it, uh, let's see, yeah, let's change that to four. Okay, so I've got from zero to, let's even this up, we're going to go one, one, two, three. And then this one I want two to three, and then I want to finish that out three to the maximum. So I'm going to change some colors, and if you set up your template to automatically have a scheme set to it, uh, that would be best. But I'm just going to pick a few colors here. Uh, green, blue, and yellow. Okay, make sure my style matches my analysis. I'm going to hit apply and OK there. Um, one thing you'll want to do, though, is, is now in the 2011 version, there is a transparency option. So I'm going to come in here to my layer manager, and I put it on just a miscellaneous layer there. I'm going to change that transparency to about 75. Hit OK. Now that's a little much. Let's change that back to 60 and hit OK. Okay, so I've got my slopes. I can I can see my image underneath it. Um, I want to add in a quick table, so I'm just going to go to Surfaces, Add Table, and that's a slope table. Dynamic, of course. Okay. So quickly, easily, I could put that in a sheet. I could go to my Layout tabs, put a title block in there, but I now have my slopes conceptually based on Google Earth uh, and a color image underneath with the transparency set. So 
um, you know, uh, just a quick guide in importing Google Earth image surface and doing a quick slope analysis and maybe a slope analysis exhibit.